24 hours to build a bridge? Two Chinese manufactured 650-ton cranes, a support fleet, 12 counterweight trailers, and 9 beam trucks. More than 1,400 tons to move. And it all has to travel over 100 kilometers to the site. Sounds crazy, right? Each number is a challenge. But for Zoom Lion, this is just another day. Stick with us and watch this battle of speed and strength. The site is over 110 kilometers away. The mission, install a 35 meter bridge across the river. Safety first. Before they roll, the drivers check every tire again. All clear. The convoy moves out. The bridge has nine beams, about 125 tons each. Because of the distance, two 650-ton cranes were sent. It takes over a dozen support trucks just to haul the counterweights. More than 350 tons in total. From transport to lift, this is a big operation. Lots of people and vehicles, truly impressive. A yellow pickup leads the way, scouting the route and carrying spare tires. Nine beam trucks travel in the convoy. The total load tops 1,000 tons. A 100 plus kilometer haul is a real test for tires and trucks. This night won't be easy. Predictably, problems appear. Heavy loads make tires run hot. Drivers stop often and spray water to cool them. Some trucks suffer blowouts or slow leaks, but the team is experienced and stays in control. Damaged tires are swapped out and the convoy keeps moving. It's 2.30 a.m., only 20 kilometers left. At 4 a.m., they reach the site. Time for a short rest. The big day starts at first light. At dawn, the assembly crew gets to work. Two 650-ton cranes are set up on opposite banks. One crane can't reach the far side alone, so the two will perform an aerial handoff to place each beam. Those red counterweight trailers are already lined up and ready to go. Now for the last checks, wire ropes and wreathing. Right now, there are too many falls that actually slows the lift. They'll reduce the number to speed things up. Quick question for you. How much can a single wire rope on a 650-ton crane lift? Drop your guess in the comments. For extra safety, the contractor placed two giant steel plates under the road mats. With checks done, the operator climbs into the cab and swings the boom 360 degrees a few times. They use hundreds of tons of counterweight to test each outrigger, watching for any sinking. Look at that thick wire rope. It's not something you can just lift with ease. What about you? Think you could handle it? At noon, the beam trucks roll in. The crew finishes lunch and heads straight into the lift. Only those who've been there know how tough it is to move thousand ton beams over a hundred kilometers. The yellow escort led the convoy all night. The last kilometer gets the most attention. First, a cross-river lift is about to start. A crane lifts the beam from the truck's rear, then swings right and extends the boom toward the far bank. At the same time, the beam truck's cab backs up slowly, matching the crane's rhythm. The river is 35 meters wide, so two cranes must work together. One crane brings the beam about halfway. The crane on the opposite bank then reaches in to take over. The operators thread the wire rope around the beam like threading a needle. Then several riggers position the wire ropes at the lift point. 
verify everything, then step back. The two cranes move the beam a few more meters together. This avoids overload and keeps a safety margin. The far side crane releases, then returns to lift the next beam. The first beam goes in smoothly. Beam trucks line up on the road. It's a striking sight. For the second beam, trucks park their cabs by the crane's outrigger. That makes the truck reversal smooth and quick. The first one is always the hardest. Once it's done, the pace picks up. By early afternoon, the fourth beam is already in place. It's 3 p.m. now. At this rate, finishing the whole bridge within 24 hours is well within reach. Thanks for watching Zoom Lion's 650 ton cranes pull off this bridge lift in 24 hours. If you enjoyed it, hit like and subscribe. Want more on-site action? We'll see you in the next one.